So what we did in the storm is a thriller. It's set on Tresco, the Isles of Scilly, where I met my actual husband. And it's a who did it, but it's also a who dies or is attacked, why they're attacked. And there's some really dark secrets on the island. So it's a beautiful seascape. You've got storms, you've got beautiful sands, but what we did in the storm sort of focuses on the human dramas and the secrets of hungry human hearts. For someone who's enjoyed your book, what other book or author would you recommend? If you like my writing, the, the person I always recommend is, uh, well, the book I always recommend is Shuggy Bane by Douglas Stewart, who I adore. Uh, one of the highlights was tweeting with him during a Eurovision randomly. I just love him. Uh, so it's like the vernacular, it's working class heroes, but I'm not comparing my writing to his. I'm just saying he's one of my favorite authors. But he also does the humor and break your heart. And I, I, that's what I'm aspiring to. I'm not saying I'm as good as him at all. He won the booker, but that's the one I say, just read him. What was your last five star read? Oh, my last five star read was Prophet Song, uh, the Booker Prize winner. Paul Murray, I believe, I might've got that wrong. Um, and, uh, Literally, just after I read that, The Bee Sting, I think that's Paul Murray. Um, so they were both on the shortlist, but uh, The Prophet Song uh, won it. Loads of humour in The Bee Sting. It, it, in the best possible sense, it's like a soap. Both Irish writers. Uh, Prophet Song, if you wonder why people get on the boats to come over here, it's set in a dystopian island. Uh, I was reading it like I'd read a thriller till two, three in the morning, but it's so lyrical as well. But it's just this one family in a totalitarian sort of state. What would force you away from your home in the middle of a war zone with no possessions? You know, if, if you've got any wonders, what would make you do that? Prophet songs for you. Quite hard read, but beautiful. What is your favourite library memory? My favourite library memory is Colwell Library in the middle of the precinct and going there every single week and getting as many books as they'd let me have. And also um, going round to the adult section where some people had um, drawn rude drawings and some people had Pop food words, and I was thrilled. It was that transgression thing. It was like that I am doing something really naughty in a library, and they don't even know what's in this book. And it wasn't like a, a, a sex book or anything. It was just like a normal adult reading. I can't even remember what it was. That's what the, the thing that affected me was like the naughtiness that somebody had scribbled in the inside cover. Uh, but I loved all the books that I got there. It was just fabulous. And, you know, by today's standards, it was a pretty basic library, but they always made me feel welcome. Uh, we didn't have a bookshop where I grew up, a place called Colville in Leicester. There wasn't one. So the library was, you know, my doorway, my portal into bigger, better worlds. Why are libraries so important to you? So growing up, uh, my mum had difficulties reading and writing because she came from a traveller background, didn't, you know, learn very much schooling. My dad was past his 11 plus, could have gone on to school, had to leave school because, you know, his mum was a widow and they needed the, the wages. Both of them encouraged me to write. Um, both of them encouraged me to read. They didn't get a lot of time. My dad worked two jobs, my mum worked. They didn't have a lot of reading time, so they encouraged the reading. And we come to all books, so where are we going to go? You're going to get them from the library. And it was my escape. Uh, there were some horrible things that happened as a kid, and I needed that sort of outlet to escape to brighter worlds. 
And there were some lovely things that happened as a kid, but I just got the habit really, really young. And it's like, why live just your one life when you can go into a live library and live a billion different lives in a different country and a different age and in a different body? It's just all of it. I, I love libraries. And when I say that, I'm like passionately love libraries. Libraries save my life. Uh, Ebook or physical book? Oh, physical book. Fact or fiction? Fiction. Notebook or computer? Computer. Inside or outside? Oh, hard one. Inside at the moment. Beginning or ending? Ending. Reading or writing? Both. <laughs> you can't stop me having both. <laughs> Early or late? Late. Cake or chocolate? Both. Ha, ha, ha.